All right, good evening, fellas, ladies, if there are any out there. This is um, part six of model railroading on a budget, and I've been busy painting tonight. Uh, this brown color that you see uh, has covered up all of the blue areas of the layout, so we are no longer living in Smurfville. Uh, hopefully, if there are any Smurfs out there, I haven't offended you. If you like Smurfs, I'm, I apologize for offending the Smurf lovers out there. But anyway, uh, I got that this brown uh, at Lowe's in the mistake bin. I'm sure any of you who have been to Lowe's have seen that, where somebody has a quart of paint tinted, they take it home and it's not the right color. So um, that's what I've used. This is my undercoat, kind of my earth undercoat for the layout, just to get rid of the blue. Uh, so I've got all of that done. Um, I've also done some, some rock painting. Uh, the ones over on the uh, mountain came out pretty well. I'm just gonna slide this back a little bit to see if I can get it under the light a little bit better so you can see. Um, I used the old leopard spot technique on those rocks. And basically what that is, is you take uh, yellow ochre and you just dab it on there with a foam brush. And then you come back with burnt umber, which is a reddish brown, and you dab the spots that you didn't dab with the burnt umber. And then over the top of that, you put a wash of black paint and it's thinned 16 to one. And it does a pretty good job of uh, bringing those rocks out. I'm gonna walk around here and try and get maybe a close-up shot, if I can, of this one. Just zoom in there. Came out pretty well. So happy with that. You'll remember uh, in the last installment those areas were painted gray. Uh, so that really helped uh, undercoating those things with gray so there wasn't a, uh, a stark white background that I had to cover. Uh, I've also used that black wash on these two tunnel portals. So they came out pretty well. I still want to go back over those with some uh, maybe some burnt umber thinned down a little bit and, and put a little bit of red in there. Uh, on the back on that ridge uh, I hit the top of that with some green spray paint and then I used this uh, earth undercoat on the face of that and then I came back over the top of that with that black wash that I was telling you about. And it turned out pretty well, but uh, I'm obviously still gonna cover that with uh, something, uh, at least some, some ground foam, uh, so you can see uh, what that will look like in a week or two. Back here on this hill, that rock face on the front uh, is, is looking pretty good. Uh, it didn't turn out quite as well as the other two. I don't have quite the amount of black on there, but um, you know, not every rock has to look the same, so. Uh, let's see if I've done anything else. Oh, yes, uh, the town area. Got the streets in. So, uh, painted those on there. Uh, the areas that you see that are not streets will be covered uh, either with, uh, with landscaping or with buildings uh, and such. So, uh, it looks kind of crummy right now, but at least the streets are laid out. Uh, this, air, this street that you see coming directly at the camera, uh, what I'd like to do there is uh, put a viaduct in, bridge the ravine. It's back to a ravine, by the way, as opposed to being a rock quarry. Um, just too much, too much bother to try and make a rock quarry out of that. Uh, you know, that can be an ongoing project, but I'm not going to try and do that off the start of, the, uh, off the start of things here. So, uh, ravine uh, going to be bridged by the viaduct, come out over across the tracks here. That'll add some interest. Um, what else? I guess that's about it for tonight. Uh, I did not do the fronts of these two tunnel portals right here. I, I ran short on my black wash. So those, those need to be done yet. Uh, so you can see they're a little bit lighter than the other two. But uh, all in all, uh, fairly pleased with how that came out. Um, I'm gonna stop here for a second and uh, I'm gonna move the table around under the light here so we can get those rocks a little bit better. Okay, okay. I've uh, I flipped the table around here and, and I don't know if those are coming out. Um, 
I'm gonna have to film in the daylight I think next time with the garage door open it's uh it's about 8 30 at night here so it's a little bit hard to get some uh, some good lighting so uh, just wanted to give you a quick update I think I showed you this one up here on the top so that came out pretty well um, I did come back and hit the uh, tops of the mountains and these these areas here the hills with some more of that um, Italian olive paint uh, took out the white <laughs> so I, was, I came out this morning and opened the garage door and it looked like I was in uh, northern Minnesota or something at the first snow there was more white showing through than there was green so uh, I've covered that up a little bit better uh, over here what you see that's lighter is uh, gray paint uh, running up to the green so uh, but anyway I guess that's it for tonight so uh, I will sign off appreciate all of your comments and all of you watching and look forward to uh, if I don't get another update this week there there will probably be one uh, week after next got a pretty pretty busy week next week so I'm, I'm not anticipating working anything anytime there so uh, see you soon